Boundary Blend is a surface creation tool in Creo that allows us to create complex freeform surfaces by blending multiple curve or edges together in two different direction. And in this 84th video of PTC Creo Parametric where we are talking about Boundary Blend feature. So let's see step by step how we can create or utilize Boundary Blend inside PTC Creo Parametric. And the reason why this is so important because it enables engineers to design organic flowing shapes that traditional method cannot achieve using precision. And just to expedite thing what I did here is I just created one datum plane as you can see here. Here I wanted to create a, some kind of grip let's say you know hand grip of a bicycle or something else. Okay, so first thing here, what we did is we have created this datum plane as you can see here. I just unsuppressed it. After that, let me also unsuppress another plane. And now here we can see there are in total three planes. Let me again push it down. And now here you will see a profile of a sketch. And let me actually uh, show it to you guys. And as you know how easy it is to create these kind of planes. So this is nothing but just a sketch. Okay. So now let me click on OK. Again let me unsuppress another feature. Which is nothing but just a replica of this original sketch. Now let me again unsuppress another feature. Which is this sketch too. And again I'm going to say it is very easy guys to create this kind of sketch. And here what I did is I tried to create some unique or intricate one which are kind of connected between these two sketches. Then the next thing again here is this below sketch and that also kind of complete precondition of boundary blend. Now what I'm going to do here is instead of simply you know doing boundary blend let me actually delete them. Um, and then I'm going to show you how we can keep it. Now after deleting all existing boundary blend here let's see how we can form it. Okay so now let's start selecting the first type of curve. Um, so let's now start working on it. For that let me click on boundary blend. And now here we can see we have two direction of curve. So let me select first direction first which is pretty easy. I would say simply need to press the control button so that both entities can be selected. Now I'm going to click on create second button and now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add these both secondary curve and there we go. So here we can see the preview of the surface that we have generated using the tool known as boundary blend. Now if I click here on OK. So, so now you know how easy it is to create boundary blend and not only we can create boundary blend but we can also set up a different different kind of you know start and end point for example if somebody do not want to keep the condition free of direction one which should be this one then there are so many other boundary condition that one can play and uh, you know work with for example let's say if we talk about the direction one and if i change the direction one first change from free to let's say uh, normal then probably I'm gonna set up a plane and uh, probably that's how I'm gonna make it normal so in such scenario maybe I will be selecting a plane and with the help of home we can further tweak this surface now let me actually click here on ok and now uh, here we can see how this critical surface uh, we have formed using simple boundary blend tool now apart from that um, I'm gonna say let's also use fill and this will make this solid. Now same tool I'm gonna use here which is uh, remove. Now let me also apply fill command here and for that let me actually create a sketch. And now let me quickly project the edges to it. Okay, uh, let me go with the loop. Okay, now let me again click on fill and then probably let's select this plane. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do here is now let me add the sketch here. 
which can be used by a project pick from list edge that i do not want to have i would like to have intent edge so that we select all this at one go and now let's again click ok again ok and now let's say i would like to create this as a solid part so for that you can use solidify command but seems like this have some issue it does not detect these faces so now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to use merge command so that i can make this whole thing as one because then only we will able to run solidify command to it because previously when this was not a completely single entity and now without single entity if i select here on solidify this may not work okay so the best way is merge them together and now apply solidify and there we go so here we can see completely solid part and now finally here we can see here we finally formed the solid part using solidify tool and now finally i can add more operations to it for example let's say i would like to add roundness here and roundness there and so on so that's all guys from my side in this video this was a very quick tutorial on boundary blend i hope after this video you now know how one can utilize boundary blend in ptc crew parametric i hope guys you find this video helpful and informational if so then please do like and subscribe to engineering pritam to follow more such topics related to ptc crew parametric and other engineering and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye